We trouble our trouble by unrealistic expectations of life. If you're going to be prepared for the suffering that will surely come, you better have a robust theology of the fall. Because if you don't have a robust, robust theology of the fall in the Garden of Eden and the results on everything about the environment in which we live, you will not be prepared. I love the way that Paul talks about this in Romans 8. He says, the whole world is groaning, waiting for redemption. You live in a groaning world. You groan when you're in pain. You groan when you're in distress. You groan when you need help. You groan when you long for something better. The world you live in groans. It's not just us that are waiting for redemption. This world, the environment in which we live, is crying out for redemption. And to live in a world where you can expect hardship, you can expect difficulty, you can expect pain, you can expect sorrow because this world is dramatically broken, not functioning the way God intended. And see, if you don't embrace that theology, you leave yourself with unrealistic expectations, here's the second thing, naive to the temptations that will come. Because you're expecting things to be way different than they're ever going to be. I, I can't tell you how many people I've counseled, how many people have approached me, how many people have talked to me who are shocked at the fact that suffering has entered their door. Surprised at the things that they're facing. 